In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to standardize information across multiple worksheets. This means uh, formatting, this means whatever I enter in the cells. I can set it up so all the same information gets entered on whatever sheets I want. So right now I've got four sheets open, as you can see, and uh, I'm just going to rename them. Uh, north, South, East, and West. So in this example, I'm just making up, uh, you know, let's say these are sales records um, worksheets here. So I want all of them to be the same. So uh, there's two ways I can do it. I can enter well, there's a few ways, actually. I can enter all the information on one sheet. I can highlight, copy, and paste it onto each one. Or I can create one, and I can right-click on the tab, go up to Move or Copy, and I can create a copy in this workbook or another one. Or I can just edit all of them at once because, you know, I'm perfect. I'm going to do it right the first time. Just being facetious, but, you know. So I'm going to do it the last way. I just, I know what I want. I'm just going to do it. So first off, the way to select all of them is um, to, so here's my first one. I'm going to click on North and hold down the Shift key and then click on West, which is the last. And as you can see, all of them got highlighted. So any change I make to the active sheet is going to be copied onto the other sheets. Now that's important to keep in mind because if you forget to un, uh, you know, unselect these, um, you might have some changes made to them that you don't want. And you do that just by clicking on uh, one and then clicking on whichever one you'd like. Um, but I want to, and if, oh, if you want to select not all of them, you can just use the control button and just, so I clicked on north because I want north, and if I want east and west, oh, nope, that doesn't work. I'm sorry, don't do that. So, uh, we'll just use the shift key to select all. So, I'm going to click on north, hold down shift, click on west, and we have them all selected. So, first thing, I want to enter the months. January, oops, tab, February. And I don't feel like typing all of them, so I'm just going to click there, drag across. There we go. And just resize them. So, we're going to bold this. The other tabs. Now, chances are it won't freeze your computer because hopefully you have a, a nicer computer. But real quick, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to click on South. There it is, East, West. It's all there. So I'm going to highlight all of them again. And let's just pop a line under here. And so we'll just type in value 1, value 2, value 3, total pop a line right there and then we want to do an auto sum of these three amounts and we're going to drag this across as well so then we'll do expense one expense two expense three total Pop another line right there underneath. Do another auto sum. Boom. Drag that across. And then we'll just do a profit. So we're going to do equals, that'll be income minus expenses. There we go. And then we'll drag this across. So just a really simple sheet here, and bold that, it might take a second, there we go. Uh, so I want to see that it showed up on the others, there we go, they're all the same. 
So now you can see just one is selected, so we can start entering values. So I'm just going to type in some numbers at random here. And there we go. And you can see it didn't translate because I didn't have all of them selected. But maybe, oops, maybe I want these set to dollar amounts on all of them. So we're going to click on north and then west, go over, we want currency. You can click on there, but sometimes it makes it look weird. I just, I prefer to just use this drop down box. I just like the results better. So again, there we go. And oops, got a little big there. Those are pretty big numbers. And da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's how you enter information on multiple sheets at once. You can do this for as many sheets as you want. Um, just keep in mind that the more data you have, the more sheets you have, the um, more time it might take uh, to get everything updated depending on the speed of your computer. But this is just a really handy way to edit multiple sheets at once. And that's, as I showed you, it's just one of the few ways that you can do it. So I hope this tutorial helped. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at sallyu.com. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in.